okay so far? I think so. There we go. No, that's good. This lab is an effort to get at understanding what's actually happening to someone when they do run. If you want, and just we're going to try to create a purple image on this, just to... So that little spike you see is her processing the instructions I gave her. An, an easy example to think about is if, you know, I am, I'm a teacher and I'm working with a student, and a student asks me a question about how to solve a particular problem. We can measure the cognitive load of the teacher as they're explaining the problem, and we can measure the cognitive load of a student as they're having the problem explained to them. A nucleus. Another example of a, a study we're interested in is actually using EEG and FNIR to help identify students with autism. So Northwestern University very recently came out with a paper where, in which they used EEG to identify students with autism. I want to actually replicate that study and then go a step further. The machine over there is far more sensitive than an EEG and we think we can probably get better identification with that machine. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. So this is the first time this is brought in and belongs solely to a college of education and looking at that.